In this video, we were talking about pressure. It ends up that when we're talking about gases, one of the important properties of gases that we need to know about is the pressure of that gas. And so we need to make sure we're clear as to what we mean when we say pressure and some of its properties. So first of all, the definition of a pressure is a force applied over an area. And to give you the difference between, you know, the idea between the difference between force and pressure, um, if we say we have a hundred pound sack of flour, okay, and it's sitting on the floor, it's just going to kind of sit there, and the, the force will basically be a hundred pounds. The pressure will be the force divided by the surface area, the area that it's touching the ground. Okay? Now if we take that same sack of hundred pound sack of flour and put it on a, try to balance it on a knife that's sitting on the ground, well it's the same force, hundred pounds, but the area will be much smaller, just the tip of the knife. And so because the bottom of this equation here is much smaller, the value of the, the pressure exerted will be much greater. And of course, you know what will happen, it'll just pierce right through that, that bag. So that's what pressure is, that's the definition. Mostly, we're con well, we're concerned with the pressures of gases, and one of the, the lar you know, largest sources of gas is on Earth is the atmosphere. And we, we care about what the pressure of the atmosphere is. You know, there's air above us up to a certain height, and that, all that air is exerting a pressure on top of us. One way we can measure that is with what's called a, well, with a barometer. Barometer measures, measures pressure, and one of the old forms of uh, barometers called a mercury barometer. And, but how it works really gives a good, good feeling for, for how this pressure works. So the way this works is a mercury barometer has a pool of mercury in a, a dish. And it also has a glass column. And this glass column has, when we f you first make this mercury barometer, you pull all the air out. You, you, you create a vacuum inside of this glass column. And then you invert it. Say the top is closed, the bottom is open down here. And you invert it and put it into the pool of mercury. Well, the atmosphere is exerting a pressure all over, evenly over the surface of this pool of mercury. And it's going to go where there's less pressure, you know, where the path of least resistance, which is going to be up inside of this column of glass. And it's, you know, so this pressure exerted right here is due to the atmosphere pushing down. Now as this column of mercury starts rising, remember there's no air or anything in here, as it gets higher and higher, gravity is exerting a force down the opposite direction. And this column of mercury will reach a certain height so that the force, the pressure exerted at its column is equal to the pressure exerted by the atmosphere. And it stays there until the pressure of the atmosphere changes and then the height of the column of mercury changes. As the pressure of the atmosphere increases, the height of the column will go up. As the pressure decreases of the atmosphere, the height of the column of mercury will go down. And so the height of a column of mercury is a measure of atmospheric pressure. It's one of the units we're going to see in a moment called millimeters of mercury or inches of mercury. So there are several units of pressure. Um, this is a list of them. Atmospheres we use a lot in chemistry. Its abbreviation is ATM. Millimeters of mercury, you saw the, the mercury barometer, that's where that one came from, MMHG. Inches of mercury, um, same thing, column, the mercury barometer only measures the height of the column measured in inches rather than millimeters, same idea. Tor, named after the scientist, his last, last name was Torricelli. Pounds per square inch, or, or PSI. Um, you probably see this unit of pressure on the sides of your, your, the walls of your tire, for example. Pascals and kilopascals. Uh, kilopascals is just a thousand pascals. Remember, kilo means times ten to the third. So the the conversions, the the conversion factors, the connections between these um, units of pressure are given in this table. The way it works is that one at exactly one atmosphere is equal to each of these things and so that means each of these are equal to each other so one atmosphere is exactly 760 millimeters of mercury one atmosphere is exactly 760 tor so a millimeter of mercury and a tor is exactly the same just two different names really for the same unit of pressure one atmosphere is equal to 29.9 .9 inches now this one's not exact the one atmosphere is exact 
but this is only to three sig figs here. And likewise, PSI, one atmosphere is 14.7 PSI, one atmosphere is 101,325 pascals, or 101.325 kilopascals. Remember, the first two are, are exact. Memorize these guys. You'll need to know these conversion factors. So one atmosphere is equal to each of these, and each of these are equal to each other. So for instance, 29.9 inches of mercury is equal to 14.7 PSI. So an example, suppose the atmospheric pressure is 32.4 inches of mercury. What's the atmospheric pressure in atmospheres and in torr? Well, we just, it's dimensional analysis, first of all. So we want to know the units first for atmospheres. The units of our answer will be in atmospheres. So we want to fill in the blank. Our starting point is 32.4 inches of mercury. The conversion factor we'll need, we get from that table that I just showed you, one atmosphere is equal to 29.9 inches of mercury. We put it put the 29.9 in the denominator. Units inches of mercury cancel. We're left in atmospheres. And so we get 1.08 in, um, that should be atmospheres. And for tor, again, again, our, we want to find tor. The units are that we're starting with. The, the our starting point is 32.4 inches of mercury. We know from that previous table that 760 tor is equal to 29.9 inches of mercury. Now here, the 760 is exact, but the 29.9 only has three sig figs. We set it up this way. The inches of mercury cancel. We're left with tor, and so we get 825 tor.